Hello, I'm very happy to discuss this 20 minutes uh, about the future. Uh, I think this topic is in the moment very important because with this immobilization and this authoritarian uh, general uh, act uh, in the moment is very difficult to speak about uh, tomorrow and to and after tomorrow. Uh, so good alone as a, as in uh, in community in group. Um, when I was a child, uh, the year 2000 was the future, was this idea of the utopia. And then uh, when I was a little bit later, uh, older, in 68, 70s, we had many utopies. And all the right parties, all the right uh, organization, they construct this, this utopies. They construct this way to say it's possible that together we uh, dream uh, uh, a common element because they say all this could be only authoritarian. I think in the moment we uh, understand that the authoritarian of this moment come not from this utopist, come very more from the person who deconstructs this. We are in a situation who every kind of utopia is close, who every kind of utopia is deconstructed from the liberal society, and uh, we have as designer to propose again new dreams, to, to propose again new, uh, new possibilities. These possibilities could be for the global world or could be for a very, very local uh, situation. And I like to start from the local to go to the global and not the contrary. Uh, and this is probably the difference in between the way that we think the future in the 70s and the way we can do it uh, yet. But to, for do it this, we have to forget tomorrow. We have to work for the after tomorrow and uh, to connect the present with this after tomorrow. That's one of our theory. Uh, and I let now Esteban walk a little bit about what is super in the way of uh, diversity. How can we think future and diversity? Yeah, uh, like in the last conversations that we've been having throughout all this week about diversity, about how to make diversity credible, and how can we use design and creation precisely to start building uh, concrete utopias, uh, to imagine possible futures, to imagine different uh, kind of, of, of relations, different types of, of, of relate uh, between each other. I just wanted uh, to share with you some considerations uh, about the role of art and design uh, in, yeah, in this task uh, of imagining new and possible futures, of making uh, utopias something concrete. So, uh, in a text published by Gilles Deleuze in 1985 that is called L'image temps, uh, or image and time, the French philosopher affirms that the fundamental task of art consists in contributing to the invention of a missing people and contribute to the invention or, or the creation of a, of a utopia, of the utopia uh, of, 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 of a people. The realization that there is a missing people, a missing people to make uh, an utopia concrete, is the new basis on which art becomes political. Art and design must participate in this task, not to address a supposed people, which are already there, but to contribute, contribute to the invention of a people and like to building concrete utopias. From this point of view, it is then necessary for the designer, for the artist, to try to find the plastic force capable of transforming a private fiction or an impersonal myth into a word or into an image that summons individuals who also, although they have not yet experienced the experience of a people, keep alive the trace, alive, sorry, the trace of a community to come. The function of art and design is then a form of representation that is not a projection of himself and for, and, and for himself, 
but something that rises towards the domain of the political, or in the lesser terms, as a collective disposition of enunciation. Uh, thus, these images and representations traces a field of transmissions from aesthetics to politics, the delusion that invokes a missing people and this missing utopia that has to start taking place in our, in our time. It's not a, a mere piece of entertainment. It is the expression of an imaginary that affirms a possibility of life, a possibility of other futures that affirm, uh, in the end, the possibility of a community and the possibility uh, of different ways of relating um, between each other, different ways of relating to nature. You wanted to say something, Vera? Yeah, so maybe I can... Hi, hi uh, we are not together. <laughs> so, so this is also a part of this uh, disconnection. Um, but I think what is very important uh, relating to design, what you have said, is that um, uh, are we in this moment now doing a design of compensation and adaption to the situation? So we do the things, we continue, we do them less good, we are accepting that we are deprived of context and we are continuing, or are we uh, doing a kind of resistance? And how do we do it? By continuing and by, by sharing. And I think we have to make uh, inventions of this. I, I'm for developing of detracing programs so that our speech is not controlled, which we now don't reflect anymore uh, because we want to keep and stay in touch. So um, uh, we have to work um, how we can construct these utopias uh, and that how design can help us to, to make this, to stay in contact, but how and this is for me one of the most important things, how can we stay in contact with the context? Because um, I, I, we worked more than 20 years with our uh, teaching and as, uh, associations and work of context reflexive design. And for this you need the body in space. And we went there with architects and with our students to feel, to see, to hear and to understand what is the need of the context of the people who are living there. And if this is now, um, deep, we are deprived and we are accepting this, um, and uh, with the duration of the situation, uh, we are more and more deprived. Um, we have to think how we can be able to share this contextual information. So this is why I, I think we need a design not of compensation, but a design of resistance and of, uh, of utopia and uh, projection. So the resistance, I think, comes from this construction of imaginary, this to propose element who could, could be alternative at this absolutely high and authoritary uh, uh, one-way uh, goal who also use in the moment this ecological uh, element to make, uh, to bring the liberal society more, more and more into the same situation as before. How can we, for each details, for each elements of the world say, but will be possible to do it in another way as it is in the moment. And it is also other possible to make other goals at the goal that the, Leo, uh, the, the greenwashing of the neoliberal society uh, bring us in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in front. And this is for me, this resistance of the moment is to create from each, each place, each dimension from the global, the local, the uh, uh, neighbor from tomorrow, after tomorrow and uh, long time project to, to make alternatives. How can we uh, dream that all designers, each time somebody propose something, is able to make a contra proposition who is better in soci social life, who is better in ecological dimension, who is be better for the community? Yeah. And I think it's also important, like to, as Rudy is just saying, uh, to insist in this role uh, of design, of creation, uh, uh, of representation in the end, 
uh, as a form of resistance and as, a, as an instrument as well, uh, uh, as a tool uh, to build in these concrete utopias. I think that uh, in, in, in what Rudy is saying, there's a, this point of view that, that insists in the very importance of, of, of concrete utopias, utopias and the proximity between, between utopies. Because in, in creation, in creation through design, in artistic creation, we can find all the political power uh, of, of utopia. It's the power of everything we lack in the world, of everything mm, mm, that has not yet a place in the world, but that can start having a place in the world, uh, in the world by, by our exercises of, of, of creation and of design thinking. So from this thought of utopia, the designer and the artist is capable of creating new places, new worlds, and actions for a dispossessed, mute, asleep, uh, and immobilized people, as, as we are now in this context, completely immobilized by the pandemics. And, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, uh, what is the chance of the situation is that the um, the modern normal, like Hubert Klumpner is calling it, uh, is in crisis. So that uh, the normality, which the modern uh, um, world as a form of colonialism uh, has installed, in, and we have to to decolonize our mind of this logic of planning, of organizing, and of anticipating. And um, this is all relevant for um, concepts of sustainability, because we also have to reflect which kind of sustainability we want to install. And we have before to understand what are the, the way of planning and what are the way of representing we are still using. That's why I think we need this crisis uh, for to make us ourselves uh, questioning which kind of normality we want to install now, the, the, the new, uh, the, the after tomorrow uh, normality, and uh, in the sense that it's not a kind of uh, fixed and authoritarian one, but it's an organic idea of uh, creation. And I think um, this um, modern uh, idea of planning, of organizing, was always um, a kind of based on control, controlling uh, the situation, and the di design went with it. Uh, so uh, urban planning, for example, uh, the, was thought more in the sense that, that the reality has to adapt to the plan, and not that the plan is reflexive on what is uh, in the reality. So this was a very brutal and authoritarian way to, to organize. And um, uh, I think we have to start, uh, we were more in the process oriented, but really a radical or organic form of, uh, of thinking, organizing and an anticipating uh, by making the anticipation always in crisis. So the crisis as a productive and reflexive factor. In the first uh, global way, uh, war, it was creating the Dadaist uh, movement. I think we are in the same uh, absolutely strange uh, time and we have also to use um, utopia in, this, in the way to say it's not only here to be realized, but it's also here to enter in your imaginary, to give the possibility to think not only uh, uh, directly, but with uh, lateral ways, uh, and I think art and design has not only to be uh, the the most functional uh, situation, the most uh, Protestant uh, attitude is also to say we have to create the chaos, we have to create the the fest, we have to be. Uh, uh, to, to think a future who can make us pleasure. That's my last one. <laughs> Esteban, you want? Maybe, yeah, in relation to the question of the crisis, maybe also a lot more, we're running out of time. But just to mention also uh, in relation to what Vera and Woody were saying uh, about the crisis, uh, as you might know, there's a theory by Naomi Klein, uh, it's called the, the, the shock doctrine. 
an outline tries to tell us how how the power how the powerful of the earth try to take advantage of the crisis uh, like to and construct crisis exactly to construct crisis and take advantage of them but then we we should maybe start thinking a counter proposal to this shock doctrine uh, thinking about how we through art through design can also take advantage of crisis of this moment of crisis to create new tools to, to, to create new forms of, of, of creation to be able to, to face and, and to make crisis. intellectual shocks but creative shocks exactly yeah, so that's that's going uh, again to the direction of not being disciplined right? and and uh, resistance. It's very important, and I think uh, we can nominate a lot of crises, but we can also uh, say we have the relation between the individual and collective body. When we have sensed sensed something, then it is this in that moment, and we have to work. Uh, for the collective body and there we are all in interdependency and I think this is uh, for me the most uh, relevant aspect to work on this interdependencies uh, with a kind of um, uh, energetic design so which is related to, to resources and to valorize different forms of resources which are going from emotional to uh, 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 economic uh, and identified our fields of uh, living together as uh, a field of resources and um, to valorize the resource equally and not have this hierarchy from economic to ecologic to social. Uh, we have to valorize all these uh, resources in an equal way and then uh, we are in a completely different logic uh, of a non-hierarchical um, or uh, 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 rethinking our hierarchies of analyze and of creation.